If you're taking online classes and any of them require you to record video, you're probably going to be using Kaltura. But what is Kaltura and how do you use it? I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of using Kaltura Capture coming up on this episode of Raising Your IT IQ. Welcome to Raising Your IT IQ. My name is James, and today I'm going to be covering all things Kaltura. I'm going to break this video down into three parts, installation, recording your video, and submitting it to your assignment. But first, let me explain what Kaltura is. It's basically a program that lets you record your screen and your webcam at the same time, and then upload those directly to Canvas. If you ever used something like OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, Kaltura is essentially a simplified version of those. So to install Kaltura, the first thing you want to do is after you log into Canvas, is scroll down and click on Kaltura My Media in Canvas. And then what you want to do is click on Add New, then click on Kaltura Capture, and you want to download it for Windows or Mac. Now I'm doing this on a Mac today because uh, the installation and setup is a little different. However, if you're on Windows, it's pretty much straightforward. You just install the software and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and download this for the Mac. Now I've already downloaded it a couple times, but I'll go ahead and download it one more time. So I'll click on Save, and I'll launch the installer. And now I just drag Kaltura over to the Applications folder. I can close out this window. Now what I want to do is go back to Kaltura My Media. And I want to click on Add New again, then click on Kaltura Capture. Now, this is going to drop down a window that says Open Kaltura Capture, and it's going to open it for me automatically. So I just click on that. Now, if you see this error that says Fail to Load Secondary Device, here's what we need to do. So first, you need to give Kaltura permission to record your camera and your screen. So we'll click on the Apple button at the top left of the Mac screen, and we'll open up our system settings here. And you want to go down to Privacy and Security, and you want to go down to Camera, and here you'll see that Kaltura is not activated. So you just want to activate Kaltura, and we'll click on Later. And normally it's going to ask you to put in your Mac password, but since I've done this already before, uh, it's not going to ask me to do that. So now I click on back and I'll scroll down again and click on screen recording and I'll turn Kaltura Capture on there as well. Now it's going to ask me for my Mac password. So I'll just type that in, click on modify settings. Now we have to quit Kaltura and reopen it and we can close this window here. Now when Kaltura launches, you'll see the control bar here um, and I can turn on my screen now. So now you can see my screen. And when all three of these icons are lit up, screen, camera, and audio, that means all three of those will be recorded. Now, if you just want to record your camera, you can turn, click on the screen. It'll turn it white with a line through it. I'll go ahead and turn that back on. For speeches, you typically just want to record your camera. But if your professor asks you to record a PowerPoint presentation, you want to make sure everything is turned on. Because what you'll do is you'll open up your PowerPoint in presentation mode, and you'll record everything just as you were uh, giving the presentation in front of a live audience. Now, after you've made sure everything is on, you just want to click on Start Recording, and it'll give you a countdown. And so now it's recording uh, our camera and our screen. Be aware that when it is recording everything, it's not going to give you a preview of your camera. Now, if you were recording just your camera, you would see that preview down the bottom right of your screen. Now I'm just going to record a few seconds here, and I'm going to click on the stop button, which is this little square. And then I'm going to click on yes, stop it. And this process is the same for Windows. Now it's going to show me my library here. And this is my video. You can see that I recorded my camera and my screen. The next step I want to do is save this and upload it directly to Canvas. But first, I'll give it a different title. We'll call this Test Video 3, because I think I've done three of these already. And I'll click on Save and Upload. And it'll show you when it's done. It'll give you this message here. So I can close out that, and I can close out Kaltura now. So what I want to do now to submit this is go to my course, 
and I'll go down to Assignments, and I'll click on my Kaltura Submission Assignment. Now, when you click on the assignment for the first time, it'll bring you to this window here where you normally type in text, but I wanna click on this Kaltura Embed button, so I'll click on that. Now, here's the video that I recorded, and I'll just click on Embed, and it'll put it right here in the text box for me. You can see the preview there. Now, sometimes, depending on how long the video is, it could take some time to process. So you might see an image saying that video is processing. Um, and that could take up to a couple of hours. Uh, again, depending on how long your video is and where you are in the queue, because um, a lot of other people are uploading videos as well and they're all getting processed. But you'll know it's done when you see the thumbnail. Now, if your professor asks you to uh, submit a text version of your speech or presentation as well, in like a Word document or PDF, uh, you'll want to attach it here before we click on Submit. So I'm just going to hit Enter so that the cursor moves down one. And we want to come over here to Insert and hover over Document. And we want to click on Upload Document. And I'll click on Upload File. And I'll just select a uh, random file as a Word document. So I'll click on Open. So now I'll click on Submit. All right, now you can see that the, that the document has been inserted there. And now you just want to click on Submit Assignment. And now you can double check that everything got submitted. I can see my preview here. And then I, if I click on Template Tutorials, this will give me a preview of the document that I submitted. And there you go. So I can close this out. And now I know that my assignment has been submitted. If you're having some issues with Kaltura, uh, I'll link my troubleshooting video right here, uh, and that'll cover the most common Kaltura issues, including uh, the one where your video gets stuck processing. Now, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, where you can find all the previous episodes of Raising Your ITIQ. And until next time, my name is James, and I'll see you in the next one.